It's time, guys. The UFC 300 main event. On the main card, the main event. We're jumping straight into it with our UFC 300 Prime Ball. We are ready. Let's go. Alex Pajeda versus Jamal Hill. Your main event. Look at the shorts for Alex Pajeda. I love them. They look so cool. I don't think UFC are going to have custom shorts for like every card now. I think it's just a specific fight. They also showed off golden gloves yesterday for championship fights. Uh, are Wei Li and, and Pajeda are going to wear golden gloves or are they not doing that yet? Are they doing that at 301 or is, is that happening? I don't know. Alex Pajeda with a record of 9-2. and two. And he's a champion as well. He's just been beating all the champions. Jamal Hill is 12-1. and one. They both stand at 6 foot 4 inches tall. While Pajeda weighed in at 225 pounds. And Jamal Hill weighed in at 204 and half pounds. Alex Pajeda with a 79 inch reach. With Jamal Hill the exact same. 44 inch leg reach for Pajeda. And a 43.5 inch for Jamal Hill. Win buys. 88% of Pajeda's wins are by TKO or KO. He has a 13% decision rate and a 0% submission rate. His average fight time is 11 minutes and 12 seconds. Jamal Hill on the other hand has a 64% KO TKO rate, 0% submission rate and a 36% decision rate with an average fight time of 9 minutes 14 seconds. This fight will be fireworks. This fight will be good. Alex Pajara landing a... Ooh! An on the dot number. 5 landed per minute in his last fight with a 7.31 for Jamal Hill 62% of Alex Pajeda's strikes were significant he absorbed 4 punches per minute and a def defense of 50% Jamal Hill has a 54% significant strikes from his last fight he absorbed 3 punches per minute and well an average of 3 punches per minute and a 47% defense Grappling. You already know Alex Pajeda is going to be uh, Jamal Hill on the ground. Pajeda has a 100% takedown accuracy from his last fight, a 70% takedown defense from his last fight, while Jamal Hill has a 73% take takedown defense from his last fight. So how does this fight go? Well, this one. This one is a lot harder. Jamal Hill can definitely scuff a takedown. It means he will 100% probably try and keep... He wants to keep this fight on the feet. Pajeda... We've seen him get knocked out. Um, we've seen a bunch of ways of him losing. But how do I think this fight goes? I'm going to say Pajero wins. I think I think Alex Pajero wins. Uh, I think he gets a KO over Jamal Hill, which will be very impressive if he does. Uh, I think he can. He reigns as the light heavyweight champion. And that's my thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think? Who do you think wins and how do you think they win? I'll catch you in a bit. Take care. Yeah, please.